video will help you navigate spreadsheets. We'll talk about adding columns, rows, and tabs, as well as adding or fixing formulas. In your DE dashboards, you have several columns to help you track your writer's progress. If you're working in your dashboard and you want to hide some of the columns because you're filling out other columns or you've completed that task for every writer, such as you've sent out all of your introduction messages or completed all of your first phone calls, you can hide the column by highlighting it and then you right click and select hide column. You can do this for multiple columns. And then if you want to see those columns again, you can just click on this little arrow up at the top and the columns will reappear on your dashboard. Don't delete any columns because you or someone else may need to check that information later. You can also add columns to your dashboard if you want to track something for your writers that's not currently there. To add a column, you can select an existing column and you can either right click and select insert column left or insert column right. Or you can also select the column and go up to the menu and click on insert and select column left or column right. If you want to add checkboxes to that column, you can select the cells and then go to insert and checkbox. And then if you want to center those, you just go to format, text align, and center. The one thing you should not do in your dashboard is change the order of your writers. Don't insert any rows or move your writers around. Your Wrangler pulls information from your dashboard and the writers are in the same order on your dashboard as they are in other spreadsheets. So the order of your writers is important. Now let's move over to your writer's content index. For some reason, there is a quip glitch that can mess with the formulas when a document is copied. This glitch is most common in the Creating Chapters tab. As you can see here, there's a word count for 1575 and 1999, but the total word count at the bottom is zero. If you highlight this cell, you'll see up at the top here that it is actually adding up column H, which is the link to the chapter column instead of the word count column. There's a couple ways you can fix this. You can either just click up here and you can manually adjust these letters and numbers. So you can put J2 and you want to do row two because that is where the writer's introduction is. So you want to make sure you're counting that word count. And then you can go through J. I would go through 37 since there are 37 rows in this spreadsheet. That way you're getting all the rows and there you go. You got the correct number. Another thing way you can do it is you can click up here and then you can just go and select, highlight the right cells that you want to add up. So highlight down the bottom here and click enter and then you'll get the same results. If a formula is completely missing, if there's nothing here, you can go up to insert and select function and then you select sum. And again, you can either highlight the cells you want to add up or you can manually enter them in. You can do J2 colon J37 and you'll get the same results. In your writer's content index, if they, for example, need more rows in part one because they're going to have more than six chapters here, you can highlight a row and help them add some rows by either inserting a row above or inserting a row below. You just right click or you can also go up to insert and select row above or row below. Also, if you need to add tabs to any of your spreadsheets, for example, if you have a writer who only has a creating content tab, but they don't have a creating chapters tab, 
you can just click this plus sign in the lower left corner and a new tab will appear on the right. You can rename that tab by clicking that little arrow and selecting rename. And we can do creating chapters and I'm going to call it two because we do already have a creating chapters tab. Then you can go to the DE documents library and you can find the content index template. So you can just select the left box here, do edit, copy, and go into your writer's content index, select that upper left box again and do edit paste and all that information will be in there then. Also, as your writers progress throughout the program, they'll move from the creating content phase to the creating chapters phase. So you'll want to move this tab over so that it's the first thing your writer sees when they open up their content index. And it's really easy. You just click on it and you drag it and drop it over in the left here. So now it's creating chapters before the creating content tab. That concludes Fun with Spreadsheets. Thanks for watching and have a great day.